Hey Apex Agents, it's Mobius Y here with another video for Mass Effect Andromeda's multiplayer. This is part two of today's character build guide, where we're taking a look at the ultra rare Asari Duelist. If you would like to see the exact setup and equipment that I used on this character in this game, check the link in the description below to take you to part one of today's character build guide, where I go over the exact power setup, the equipment and boosters that I'm using, as well as explain my weapon of choice for this particular game. So here on Firebase Derelict against Outlaw. Outlaw is not really the best faction for this particular character, but it's definitely better than Remnant. Remnant is such a pain in the ass for melee characters, let me tell you. But Ket is definitely the easiest. Um, the Chosen, the Wraiths, the Destined, and the Anointed are very easy to take down with this character. Um, of course, you spend most of the wave avoiding things like bosses, for example, the Fiend and any Ascendants that are on the board, but you can help deal with those once the wave budget has been cleared and there's only about half a dozen or less enemies remaining on the field. It's not much different with Outlaw, except that you're going to find yourself dealing with a lot of sub-bosses constantly. Constantly dealing with sub-bosses, especially Berserkers, since they like to run in your face and try to punch you with their... well, with their face, essentially. <laughs> Um, Berserkers are particularly annoying, but can be handled pretty pretty soundly one-on-one -on -one with this character. The problem is they like to be in pairs, and both their headbutt attack and their little flat cannon cause staggers. And you don't want to be caught staggering, getting staggered from those, because that's probably going to mean certain death for this particular character and this playstyle, especially if there's other enemies nearby. On the other hand, things like Outlaw Raiders and the Adhes are very easy to kill because they're essentially one-hit kills for even just a basic melee attack. So they're easy to deal with. Sharpshooters are simply annoying, but again, easy to deal with. Uh, not much going on there aside from just got to get in close with the Sharpshooters so you can blast them with the Rieger Carbine, de-shield them, and then it's a simple melee attack since they do not have very much health. All of the sub-bosses can be dealt with in a similar way. Once you're in close... And you can use your melee attacks as well as your charge. You have so many iframes going on that they simply don't really get the chance to hit you back. The nice thing about this character's teleporting dodge and his teleporting melee is that it essentially renders you invulnerable for a split second. It's very similar to Biotic Charge when Biotic Charge is being cast. But it doesn't have the added benefit of bringing back your shields. You get some of your shields back whenever you land a successful melee, but it's a very small portion, whereas Biotic Charge obviously regenerates all of your shields back to 100%. So it won't necessarily keep you alive, but it will keep you up and able to finish off an enemy before it takes you down, especially if you catch it out alone. You make sure to isolate it and take it on by yourself. So for... Most of this gameplay, you'll largely see me combining my melee attack with my powers to try and keep the melee damage bonus from Biotic Warrior, which is in the offensive Biotic's passive tree, up as much as possible before I actually engage any enemies. And you'll very rarely see me go after groups. If there's groups of enemies going on, most of the time I bug out and get out of there. I have to try to find enemies that are more or less isolated where while I'm attacking them, I'm not being shot at from multiple angles from several people. Um, and most any time I do that, you pretty much will see me go down if that ever happens in this game. But it won't happen too much. However, do not discount the use of the weapon. The Rieger Carbine on its own is actually a really good gun. You can use it to mow down things like Ket Wraiths or in this particular game, Outlaw Adhes. It can cut them down pretty nicely. And in doing so, by using a Siphon Variant, you can get a fair chunk of your health back if you have been taking damage in recent engagements and actually suffered some major health loss. Make sure you put that Rieger to good use if you are on low health. You do not want to rely on your saving barrier all the time. It's a pretty much get out of jail free card. You don't want it to be your fallback every time you get into, into a particular fight. So if you find yourself on low health, say about a third, uh, put a little bit extra emphasis on using the Rigar Carbine. It's not a terrible gun. It has an added damage bonus against shields, so it takes those down very quickly. Uh, even on some boss units, you'll find that a full magazine of the Rieger Carbine can do quite a lot of damage to them. And, as I said, even at a Grade 1 Siphon Variant, it'll give you back a big chunk of your health, even with shooting a single magazine at an enemy. So don't discount it altogether. It is part of the trifecta of the character build. Make sure you put it to good use. So, with that being said, I don't think there's really much else to cover 
Uh, aside from just the general don't intentionally attack groups all the time with this character. As I said, it's aptly named. It's the Asari Duelist. You want to try and go after two or three mooks at most, but maybe just one or two sub-bosses at best. And definitely do not take on a boss unit if there are other things around shooting at you as well, because this character excels at dealing with things one-on-one. -on -one. You can even get through a fight with a single sub-boss without taking a scratch of damage, combining the, the iframes from either your dodge or your biotic charge, as well as your melee attacks. You can take them down from 100% health down to zero while taking none yourself. So long as you are able to dodge their attacks, particularly their melees, by timing your melee attacks, where while they're swinging at you, you're teleporting. Right before you hit them with the sword is when they swing at you. So be sure to keep an eye out as I time those attacks appropriately, minimizing the damage that I suffer as I try to kill enemies. So that'll cover it. Enjoy the rest of the gameplay. This was part two of today's character build guide, as I said, for part one, where I go over this exact character setup and build that I'm using in this gold gameplay here. Check the link in the description below. It will take you right to the additional video. This has been Mobius Y for Mass Effect Andromeda's multiplayer. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you on the battlefield. Good luck, Apex. Coming.
We've detected mission critical data. Find the location and upload the intel. <laughs> Get yourself to the LZ. Huh. 